Hello, my name is Harry, and today I'll be showing you the story of an ice cube named Frosty. Here we have an ice cube. His name is Frosty. He one day dreams to become a liquid instead of being so stiff. And he wants to move like a liquid. Hello. Frosty has an owner. Um, his owner likes to cook a lot. So he asks his owner to make him a liquid. And the owner takes one of his cooking tools and he sprays the fire on Frosty. Frosty becomes a liquid. Frosty is now a liquid. But since his owner likes to cook, he sees the gas coming out of the stove. He wants to fly like that. He wants to be free. The sun shines down on Frosty, making him evaporate. He became a gas, but his owner was not ready to let Frosty leave him. Frosty's owner encased him in a water bottle, taking heat away from Frosty, making him back into a liquid. Just to make sure Frosty wouldn't escape him again, his owner put him in the freezer, turning him back into a solid. Since Frosty has solved this problem, now it is time to explain what happened, what happened to Frosty. For a solid, the intermolecular distance is very low, hence creating a solid shape. Solids have a definite shape and a definite volume. When, this, when energy or heat is applied, the solid melts into a liquid. Liquids have an indefinite shape, but a definite volume. Because they, if you had a container, then the, and you poured the liquid into the container, the liquid would take shape of the container, but you could still measure how much the, vol how much the liquid, how much space the liquid could take up. energy or heat is applied. When even more heat or energy is added, the liquid becomes a gas. The intermolecular distance in gases is maximum, letting the gas move freely. Gases have an indefinite shape and an indefinite volume. So if you took a liquid and put it in a pan and let the pan boil or fry it, then steam would come up, right? That's what happened to Frosty when he got evaporated by the sun. As a gas becomes a liquid and a liquid becomes a solid, the intermolecular distance is getting closer and closer. For example, when you put a liquid in a freezer, the molecules in that liquid are being pressed together, hence creating a solid shape. Or if you were on a sunny beach and you left an ice cube on your towel lying on the sand, the ice cube would melt, right? But then, if the liquid was sitting there on the towel, it would get evaporated by the sun also, hence creating a gas. Thank you for listening. I think, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed listening to the story of Frosty the Ice Cube.